Hey guys, it's Misha here, and yet another video with my hair wet as fuck. Um, but anyways, today I wanted to talk about um, a very kind of um, misunderstood topic um, in regards to BPD, and that is, you know, men men being diagnosed with borderline personality disorder and men's experiences with it because I feel like BPD borderline personality disorder is so like focused on women and I feel like in the media and and the representation that surrounds BPD is usually um you know for females and I feel like people think that it's a female diagnosis and I've even heard a lot of people like you know stigmatizing the disorder and saying that it's just you know women being women or like um a woman that wasn't you know um properly um told how to um behave in society as a functioning person and and the result is bpd um but it's usually thought of as a female disorder um 75 percent of people that are diagnosed with bpd are female so that means for every three female diagnoses there's a male diagnosis but that doesn't mean that there's more females that actually have bpd um it is said that it's probable that one to, it's almost a one-to-one -one ratio so for every female that has bpd every like the same amount of males have bpd which i find this very interesting because again you only really hear and see females being diagnosed. You only really, um, you know, see it in the movies, you know, Girl Interrupted and in a lot of other um, portrayals of BPD, most of them fairly awful, like fairly stigmatizing and fairly um, incorrect way of portraying it in the media. Um, it is usually females. And I think that that needs to change for sure. Um, something that I have noticed very, very recently is um, the, you know, media is kind of trying to, to, to make it so that people are more aware that yes, men can and men do have borderline personality disorder. You know, it is just as common, um, you know, because I've seen there's in, in Canada. Okay, so, ugh, okay, so in Canada, we have this thing called Bella's Talk Day. And that is funded by Bell, the the, the phone companies, phone services, um, pretty much anything um, electronic related. Bell has, you know, their own services offered. Um, but anyway, they fund this day and kind of this whole movement called Bell Let's Talk. And that is focused around mental health and mental illnesses. And they have one day today, um, not today, sorry, um, at the end of the month this year. It's on January 31st. I believe that falls on a Tuesday. Um, but people, you know, kind of discuss their problems and their issues and they kind of make it more aware and up leading up to that, a couple weeks leading up to that, there's like, um, commercials and, you know, like radio commercials, TV commercials, all that kind of thing, just outlining and, and showing people suffering from mental illness and just kind of making the public more aware that yes, this is an epidemic and, you know, people should be getting more comfortable because it is, you know, such a normal thing that should be talked about and, and should be discussed. So that's kind of why they're trying to go out and and kind of spread some awareness and shed some light, which I think is really, really awesome. Um, but anyways, I was at work actually, and I was, you know, the radio was playing in the background. <clears throat> and there was a commercial and there was a man discussing his, his issues with borderline personality disorder. And I was like, that's fucking awesome. Because A, you don't really get to hear about people struggling with borderline personality disorder, like people that actually struggle up until like more recently I've started to notice, which is, which is again, fucking great. Um, but the fact that it was a man I thought was really, really, you know, that's really like, it's awesome. It's, it's really nice to be able to see that being portrayed and, and, you know, just, just showing us that yes, men can also suffer. Um, so I find it, you know, I didn't even really know that much about it. Um, that men were just as likely to, to have it and to suffer from it until I really started this channel and I started to notice like there are a lot of, you know, men that are commenting and that are, you know, expressing their, their interest and their, their struggles and their stories and sharing their stories with me. Um, and I started to notice like, wow, there is a lot of men suffering. And the problem is 
since so many people think that it's just a female disorder, a lot of doctors, you know, will go and they'll diagnose females. But when men present the same um, symptoms, they're much less likely to get diagnosed with BPD. They're more likely to get diagnosed with bipolar disorder. And that just means that, you know, obviously it's a misdiagnosis. So that means they're going to be um, given the wrong type of medication, given the wrong type of therapy. Um, it's going to take them a lot longer to get better because they're not given the proper treatment. And, you know, they can go their whole lives without receiving any type of real help. And I find that with men, too, a lot of times, um, you know, men kind of fall through the cracks a little bit um, in terms of, you know, they'll turn to drugs and they'll turn to, you know, they'll, they'll, they can get in trouble a lot more with the law. Um, it's just how that, you know, society tends to work out, you know, with gender norms and everything like that. Um, so they're seen as more like criminals as opposed to people suffering from mental illness. Um, obviously females do as well, um, from my experience, you know, just mental illnesses in general, you know, you're kind of seen more like a criminal and you're not really uh, treated for that mental illness. Um, but I feel like men really, really do, you know, get that a lot. Um, I'd say probably more than females. And again, they're not getting treated, um, for their BPD <laughs> as likely as women are. Um, so I think that's definitely something that needs to change. I mean, you know, they'll, they'll experience the same symptoms, you know, and, and the thing about, you know, society and gender norms, um, is that men kind of are, are more likely to be aggressive is just what we've known from since the beginning of time, you know, men go out, men are more competitive, um, there's just more in the way of, of, you know, like working your way up in the company or, or even for sports, there's obviously more like, um, focus on men's sports. So that aggression is a little bit more normal and it's more typical if you see it in a man as opposed to a woman. So when a man is exhibiting those symptoms, people may brush it off as just being like, Oh, you know, boys will be boys. Um, so again, like the symptoms are not necessarily seen as an illness when in reality it could, you know, it's just going to push them back farther from being able to get treatment. And men are more likely to complete suicide. I'm not too sure why. Again, maybe it's just, you know, the way society has, I don't, you know, to be honest, I don't really know. I don't want to talk out of my ass. But it is a statistic and it is more likely. I think it's almost twice as likely for men to commit suicide than women. So, you know, if they're not receiving any treatment for it and they're not getting their help that they need, that obviously can lead to very, very serious, um, permanent ways of coping with the illness. So just wanted to share that, um, you know, we need to start talking about, obviously we need to start talking about mental illness. We need to start talking about BPD. We need to start talking about... Um, it, regardless of, of, of genders and regardless of, 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 you know, different things going on in a person's life. At the end of the day, it is a person. We are all people. We are all, you know, we are all at the end of the day human and we should all be treated with the same respect and with the same help. And we all deserve to, to receive that treatment and, and the help that we need to be able to become a functioning you know, living person in society so that these, these things don't happen as much as before. So if you wanted to, you can, you know, do some research. Um, I've left a couple links down below about men and borderline personality disorder. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.